name's Sam Kench. Sam is a veteran toilet expert with over two decades worth of experience on the John. Today I'll be breaking down six of the best. I'm gonna take a sh and worst. And attacks that someone. Pissing and shitting scenes in movies. Us toilet experts are commonly lumped in with plumbers, but in truth, that label is a little reductive to our craft. There's more to toilets than simple plumbing. There's ergonomics, detailing, innovation, and sometimes metallurgy. Without the work of groundbreaking toilet experts like Jean-Claude Lachit, toilets would still look like this. May I say P and then U. First up, Kramer versus Kramer. Hygiene concerns. I'll tell you precisely where she went. You know, sometimes you and your friends don't get along and you have a fight. Uh huh. And you want to go off and be by yourself for a while. There's good and bad to this scene. The actual toilet usage is spot on. Excellent naturalistic form from Dustin Hoffman here. Really believable. But strong toilet form is nothing without strong sink form to back it up. Every good offense needs a good defense. It felt for a while, so that's what happened with Mommy. When is mommy coming back? Soon, very soon. But come on now, you and I are gonna have some breakfast, okay? Hoffman does not wash his hands in this scene. And to make matters infinitely worse, he is immediately dunking his dirty penis fingers in his son's French toast batter. Yuck! All right, I'll tell you what. Wash your hands, people. Pulp Fiction. Neo-realism. I'm gonna take a sh This is such an underrated toilet scene. Everyone knows and loves Pulp Fiction, but I wish this scene in particular got more love, as it is easily the best scene in the film. Arguably, the best scene in Tarantino's entire oeuvre. It's so understated and real in a way that other films constantly get wrong. It's disgustingly rare to see a movie character simply use the bathroom because they gotta go. It's refreshing, and I think Tarantino should be applauded for allowing his characters to answer nature's call in such an authentic, non-flashy manner. Sin City, toilet torture. You're making a big mistake now. A big mistake. Yeah? You already made a big mistake yourself. You didn't flush. <laughs> Yes, yes, I hear you. This is not how to properly use a toilet. I get it. But this scene gets a pass. The toilet itself is presented realistically, and there's no pretending that this is proper toilet etiquette. Where this scene excels is in the creativity and presentation. Of all the movie scenes in which toilets are used as weapons, <laughs> is a fan favorite amongst us toilet experts. Under the Silver Lake, Illuminati feces. This scene might require a little censoring for YouTube. Just to be clear, this toilet is loaded, to say the least. You could argue that it is gratuitous, and you wouldn't be wrong, but what this scene has in spades is guts. This toilet scene does not pull any punches. Chunky feces on full display. Those of the weak constitution will likely have averted their eyes during this part of the film. But those of us who take the art of shitting seriously are able to pick up on some subtle Masonic and Illuminati iconography swirling around that toilet bowl. A nice Easter egg for those of us who understand the value of excrement as high art. Bad Milo, anus monster. It's a metaphor! I had a monster up my ass! This is the furthest thing from a metaphor! Bad Milo must be the worst shitting movie in existence. I mean, it's way worse than movies that don't feature any shitting or shitting whatsoever. Bodily function representation is important, but not this kind of representation. Bad Milo follows Ken Marino as he repeatedly poops out a monster that lives in his anus and then kills people. Talk about unrealistic. Us toilet experts have a hard enough time getting people to take us seriously without throwing anus demons into the mix. I'll tell you one thing I know for certain. If this guy's toilet had higher flushing power, problem solved, movie over. Two girls, one cup, X-rated. This is a perfect example of an instance where a toilet should have been used, but wasn't. Okay, I, I think we're done. Subscribe if you want more shit like this. Let me know in the comments about any other experts you would like to see break down movie scenes and I'll try to get in touch with them. Check out my previous expert react where a uh, serial expert broke down the best and worst movie serial scenes. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.